matchups taking place in Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. Ohio State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He makes his way out to about the 35. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's scrambling. And he's sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at the 46. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. He scrambled, and they make the stop at about the 41. Martinez gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. That brings him second and five. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy. Eagle! Eagle! Gets out to around the 32. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. it up the middle for a nice run. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Nebraska could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Buckeyes and their ground game's always been sensational, and it's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's at midfield, and he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. First down. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. That's a game on the play. Let's go. That makes it second and two. Yes. 
tackle at the 45. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Brought down at the 13. That's a game right, 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 right. That makes it first and ten. Down. They'll get him for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Tenth play of the drive. They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. for extra yardage. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it first and goal. Tackle made at the five. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Play 13 of the current drive. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And he converts the extra point. A 13-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 7-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Down. Blue 19. Blue 19. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. That's a D in the line. That brings in second and nine. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Nice run there. Pressure coming. Zips it to the back. He's brought down in the open field. That'll bring up second and three. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's tackled at the 49. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. And 
they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. The cavalry's coming. He's taken off. And now the ball is loose. And the defense is on it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. That's a great tackle at the 22-yard line. Ohio State is up four. He's under pressure. From their own 18-yard line, third down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out to the 30, and they make the stop at the 38. Boy, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Watch two, watch two. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. Good open field tackle. There's a strike complete. He might have a chance. And he shoved out of bounds around the 28-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Ohio State is up by four. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's second and 11. Ball in the 29. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll be a 36. Now he's scrambling. It's a fumble. Offense falls on him. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Ohio State's up by four. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff.
makes it to the 22-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 19. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That brings up third and 14. Let's go! He's going right. And it's caught. At the 30. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. He makes his way out to about the 12. He gets out to about the nine yard line. That'll make it second to set up. He'll get the call again. They bring him down in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it third and seven. Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Touchdown, Cornhuskers! You got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a seven play, 78 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. This one's all even at 10. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. First down. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Three 
Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From the 11-yard line, second down. Some open field. Tackle around the two yard line. That makes us 30 and goal. Brought down around the one yard line. Fields only picks up about a yard there on the option. So from a yard out, the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And they'll get him in the backfield. This is a big time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. It's third and seven. Ball on the 28 yard line. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 39. Ohio State staff, you, you've got to think they're going to be happy. They're almost here at halftime. They've got the lead, and their main guy's not playing very well. Well, to think that they have this lead without him playing well, I think, is a testament to the way they've approached this week. You know, he's he's eventually going to catch fire. And I'm sure as they talk to one another at halftime, they're probably not going to get too far away from the game plan. Continue to utilize your star player and hope that the others continue to play well in the second half. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Quick strike, and he drops it. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He throws left. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. First down. Ohio State is up a score. On the run, right side. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Second and 13. Ball on the 35. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Seven to Mike. Mike is 
He makes it to the 15-yard line. The 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Game of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. made just outside the goal line. He gets rid of this one. That brings up third and goal. One yard to the goal line. Ohio State is up seven. They'll bring him down at the three. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Ohio State is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he's taken down at the 19. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down he goes around the 22 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 43. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's scrambling. He lost the ball. The offense falls on it. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Concentration lapse right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Get out, get Ball on the 47. Ready! Black, nine, nine. Scrambling around. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. Here's a draw. He makes it to the 32-yard line. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. That makes it second and eight. Here we go! Easy, easy, easy! Bingo! Bingo! Caught enough for the first down. He's brought down in the open field. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Gets to about the 11 yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle! Eagle! That'll make it second and seven. Let's go! 
Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Here's the 12th play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. They'll line it up for the field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. 2013, Ohio State. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both these offenses were off the chains in the first half. Defenses were completely powerless. David, you know I'm your biggest fan. I believe you're going to be a Hall of Famer someday. Great defender, but every game wasn't perfect. I, I remember a freshman game that you had at Georgia against Florida. Gators kind of got it rolling. What's that like for a defense out there when, when you feel like they're a step or two or three ahead of you all the time? Well, it's frustrating, and a lot of times you don't have the answers. I mean, you sit there and you try new things, and you try the stuff you tried all during the week, and nothing works. And then you try something else, and it doesn't work. And sometimes it's just that the better players on offense and their schemes firing at a new level or a different level than you are, and you you can't keep up. But you got to find some kind of positive. you got to make some kind of big play. So you get that coach on the other side, maybe throwing his visor a little bit or getting upset. Like, okay, we didn't get there yet. Yeah, I, 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 like it. I like it, big man. I got ball plays going to work. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Man, both offenses here in the third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Ohio State up seven points. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. Line up at the 14. It's second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets hit out of bounds around the 41-yard line. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. Throws it to the halfback and he's got it again. Tackle at the 32 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Nebraska ready to kick this one off. McCall fields at the goal line. Gets out to about the 21. The Cornhuskers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. Gets out to around the 35. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's at the 40. Brought down at about the 31. That's good for a gain of 23 yards. That makes it first and 10. Gets out to around the 22. That's a good for a game of nine yards. Roger, Roger. That brings up second and one. Kill, kill. Kill, kill. And they got him for a loss. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Runs outside for a nice game. Call it a game of five yards. Roger, Roger. First down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Lord Cat, Lord Cat. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Tackle made around the nine yard line. Number two. Ohio State is up four. Fights forward to about the seven. That makes it first and goal. And a quick throw. 
They'll bring him down around the seven yard line. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And he converts the extra point. Like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That makes it second and ten. He makes his way out to about the 35. Nice run there. the corner he's at midfield very good tackle in space and they get nice yardage on that run He tackles him for a loss. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Makes it to the 31. Level at the 29. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And down he goes at the 20. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second to seven. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. No game. That brings him second and goal. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. Big opening. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. Well, the quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. He makes the PAT. Pickering, ready to kick. He 
carries to the 20. And down he goes at the 25. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Ohio State is up by four. Here's a quick throw. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Gets to about the 47-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. That's a game of seven on the way. That makes it third and three. They'll drop him for a loss. Good solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Third down. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 22. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. 27-23, Buckeye. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Armstrong awaits the snap. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Still a lot of football to go here in the fourth quarter, but if they score here, they give themselves some breathing room. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. Fires complete over the middle. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Jackson brings him down at the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. False start. Offense. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still second, second down. down. Second and five now after the penalty. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Yeah. 
Makes the grab and steps out right away. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Good open field tackle. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That makes this a good three. And that one's incomplete. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Ohio State is up four. Fires it out. First down. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's scrambling. There's a fumble. Scoops up the loose ball. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 15-yard line. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. to go long and does. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Taken down at the 27. Wright makes the tackle at the 27 yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. Ohio State's expertise carrying the football is what we thought was going to be in the spotlight today, and here it's been the passing game instead. Yeah, we really thought this running back would have one of those days you'd remember for a long time, but this passing game has stepped up and been put this offense in a position to be able to win this game. Here's an opening. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and two. Ohio State is up seven. He is drilled at the 49. 
Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. Quick strike to the receiver, and they push him out to the 37-yard line. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. He gets another carry. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Nice run up the middle. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of five on the play. First down. Roger, Roger. 31's the mic. Hey, defense. Hey, Q, Q. Man, no, he said. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of four on the play. the 20-yard line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. This is the 10th play of this drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. their own 49-yard line. First down. He fires. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. They'll spread the field with five wide. Let's it fly. And they couldn't hook up on that one. From the 27 yard line, second down. Just under two minutes in the game. He flings it. Couldn't haul it in. He's got his half back. Steps out of bounds at the 21. Gain of six yards. 
That makes it fourth and four. So they're going to go for it here. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. A little over a minute in the game. Fires it quickly. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pulls it in and he could score for the 20. He's all the way, touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter and the big question is in a game this close, who's gonna crack first? Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He makes the PAT. And he's tackled at the 40 yard line. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. From the 42-yard line, second down. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. Ohio State, 33, Nebraska, 30. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.